Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the about section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you find what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. So everybody strips a bolt, breaks a bolt, has to go to the hardware store and try to figure out how or what size bolt they need to purchase to continue with their task at hand. So Andrew's going to show us how to find this out quick and easy the professional way. So here we are, the quick reference chart that Andrew did a schematic for us so we could learn how to properly figure out what kind of bolts we need to purchase. We got a thread pitch, how many threads per inch. You got your bolt diameter, how big the hole is, and then you got your bolt length. He's going to show us how to use the bolt thread pitch gauge and these other tools to quickly figure this out. We're about to learn how to know your bolt size. Let's get started. When you have a bolt, there's two different types of bolts out there. You got a standard bolt. Okay. Notice the strength markings, these three little lines here on the bolt. That's how you know it's a standard bolt. Here we have a metric bolt Okay. with its strength marking. All right. And you see that's a 8.8 .8 decimal. Okay. When you measure a bolt, there's three main measurements that you need to know. Right here, you're going to get your diameter of the bolt. Then you have your thread pitch, and you have the length of the bolt. Notice, okay. we do not include the head of the bolt in the length when we're just checking for threads. Starting with the standard bolt here, hmm, what you do is you just find the hole that it fits in. Hmm, this looks uh, pretty close right here. Look at that, fits in the 5 16ths. Okay. Will not fit in the 1 quarter, too big. Okay. A little bit too sloppy in the 3 8ths. Alright. So that's how we know diameter of this bolt it, is 5 16 And that's an SAE bolt because it has those three hashes on it. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Awesome. So we know that our bolt is 5 16ths of an inch in diameter. So I'll just write it up here. Diameter, 5 16. That's a little old school doing fractions. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next, we can get the thread pitch. A couple different ways you can do it. I like to use these metal thread pitch gauges here. Easy way to do it. Okay, oh. now I see you got one that's metal. Yep chrome color then you got one that's brass color one that's brass they make this easy so you can quickly identify fractional and metric if you got a brass colored one it's likely a metric it, depending on the brand of tool you use okay yes. all right absolutely so there's a whole bunch of different options we have here we have 11 threads per inch you know 14 threads per inch etc i'm just going to take a lucky guess and i'm going to guess that this one is 16 threads per inch the way, uh -huh. you, the way you check your thread pitch here you match your tool up to the threads Wow. Look how nice. Look Perfect how nice fit. fit. Okay? okay. We know that it's 18 threads per inch. All right. Here, let's, let's try this guy here that, that happens to be 11 threads per inch here. Okay? See the 11 on that guy? Okay. 11 threads per inch. Does it, does it fit as well as the 18 no, threads per inch? No, it's not fitting in there. No, though. absolutely not. This is 18 threads per inch. That's the Perfect right Perfect fit. Okay? Nice. Okay. Now we get our... Thread pitch. Thread pitch. I use P for pitch. Can you say pitch? Okay. Pitch. Oh, what'd you call me? <laughs> A <right>. D pitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'm going to put 18 TPI. Not tune port injection, but threads per inch. Okay? Thread per inch. All right. Lastly, we need the bolt length. Remember, this is a standard right. bolt. These are inches on this side, millimeters on All that right, side. All so, right. So this tool is split in half. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. So this is a ruler. Check that out. Our length of this bolt. One inch. One inch, exactly. Man, I got that right. It's that easy. It is that easy. Length, so one, one inch. inch. So when I go to the hardware store, mm -hmm. I need a five, diameter, yep. five sixteenths, yep. a pitch, 18 threads per inch, yep. and the length, one inch. One inch, absolutely. So the way you would write this, in layman's terms, when you go to the store, I need a bolt that's five sixteenths. By 18 by 1. So you always want to go diameter first, the right. thread pitch second, and the length third. Absolutely. So I could look this up like this on Amazon and get the right bolts I need. All day long. Nice. Sweet. All right. So we're going to do a metric one next. All right. Let's 
Strength marking, uh, what's typically the highest strength marking you'll find? Typically, you can find strength marking of a grade eight bolt for standard. They do go a little bit higher, but for most automotive applications, you're gonna find a grade eight bolt for heavy duty stuff, such as your engine mounts or your suspension. So here, here we have a metric bolt, right? Grade All right. Point eight. Same thing, we're gonna measure the diameter. Diameter. It's metric, so we won't use these fractions down here. We're gonna find the hole that it fits in the best. It's too big to fit in the eight okay. millimeter hole. Too small to fit in the 12 millimeter hole. We got a 10. We got a 10. 10's a winner. 10's a winner. Diameter okay. 10. So diameter is 10. Remember, this is metric, so we're gonna go 10 millimeters. Now we need our thread pitch. We're gonna bust out our trusty, dusty thread pitch gauge here. Let's see here, and in metric we have, here we have one that is, ooh, 0.75, and this is 0.75 threads per millimeter. That's a very oh, fine Oh yeah, that thread. ain't gonna fit. You don't think so? No. Ooh, you are correct, sir. It does not fit very well. Okay. See that? Let's take our next best guess. Let's go with 1.5 threads. All right, 1.5. Okay, boom. Ooh. Oh, sweet. There you go. And I said threads per millimeter, but it's actually the space between the threads in millimeters is okay. what we're actually measuring here with that. Okay? All right. So, so that's 1.5. 1.5. Is the pitch. Is the pitch. Okay. Now all we need is the length. The Once length. Again, yep. There we go. Very important. We're not using the inside. We're not using that side. We're going to use the metric side. And this is millimeters? Millimeters. Absolutely. So that 30 looks like about millimeters. 30 millimeters. Wow. Absolutely right. So the length we'll have here for 30 millimeters. So when you go to the store or you go online to buy your, your parts, uh -oh. you need a metric bolt with the size of where we're 10, 10 by, by 1.5 1 1.5 by, by 30. Wow. Let's put millimeters there so everybody knows. Sweet. There you go folks. That's how you use your thread pitch bolt gauge to find the proper size replacement hardware. Fast and easy. Thank you, Andrew. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.